Hello, today I want to talk about the WMD Crucible. It's a drum module specialized on cymbals. I was looking for quite a while for a cymbal module and it seems so I found the perfect module for me. Let's start with a very basic pattern and I'm just wiggling through the parameters. to give you an impression what the module is um, able to deliver. So as you can hear, the module is able to give you very bellish, high at sounds based on the um, amount you dial in the decay. Or you can get very, very crystal clear right symbols, crush symbols. I now changed the attack behavior. You can choose if you are hitting the, the symbol in the, in the middle or at the edge. When you put two cables and then you are hitting it on the bell. I will show you that in a second. To me all the sounds are very organic often very, very natural, so I'm not saying that all the sounds are really like a, a drum cymbal, but um, they behave very, very organic. So let me put in some modulations. These modulations are basically um, random modulations and um, LFOs or gated rhythmical patterns. So the behavior of the module um, differs a lot from um, the usually sample-based symbols. If you are interested in another module I also like a lot, it's the Erica Sim symbols. I do have a video on my channel about that module too. You will easily hear the difference as it's sample-based. It is a very good uh, module for me a keeper too, but it is really um, behaving different. Okay, let's change the pattern. Also with a lot of modulations, inputs, I will change the destinations randomly. Especially when you are um, modulating the pitch with an LFO, you're also able to um, get very spacey sounds. Let's listen to that with some drums. The 
these sounds right now are very metalish, very clunky and more in industrial style. Okay, listen to that in the context with the beat. All the sounds, cymbals, hi-hats or whatever um, are made with the crucible and with uh, modulation. There are no effects on the module, so it's crystal clear. It's just the output of the module. I just added a bass drum and a clap. Once again, randomly addressing modulation sources. But by the way, I'm changing off the screen the modulation depth of the sources. able um, to create very interesting grooves with a module. The trick is the very, very high amount of modulation input. To me, it, it's just a perfect in the context of Eurorack and Modular. Anyway, when you um, just try to keep your uh, rack a little bit smaller or you're heading for, for live acts, and do not want to have uh, such extensive, um, big racks, then WMD is a really good choice. Hope you enjoyed the video and um, this was a little bit helpful. If you have questions, just leave a comment. I'll try to answer them all. See you next time.